Welcome back to the channel guys. Let's move to the next problem which says minimum number of jumps to reach the end of an array. Let's see what let's see what does the problem say. It says given an array of n integers ARR where each element represents the maximum length of the jump that can be made forward from that element. This means if ARI is equals to x then we can jump any distance y such that y is less than or equal to x. Find the minimum number of jumps to reach the end of an array starting from the first element. If an element is 0, then you cannot move through that element and return minus 1 if you can't reach the end of the array. The problem says, let me copy the example statement once. It says 1, 3, 5, 8, 9. 1, 3, 5, 8, 9. 267689 The problem says let's suppose there is a monkey here, okay? Or a man here, okay. He wants to reach here. This is his final destination. Alright. Now he says, let's suppose he is here. The number here is 1. So he can just look at the only one digit forward. Okay. Suppose he was here at 3. Then he could see 1, 2 and 3. All these places. And jump to any of them. On This is his choice. By jumping in this manner, he has to reach at 9 position. And we have to report the minimum number of jumps. To reach the end. What does the brute force approach say? Brute force approach. I hope the problem statement is clear to you. All right. Brute force approach. It says that on the index you are starting. Okay. Let's suppose you are starting standing on the index 0. Okay. And it is it says 2. Jump on all the possible. On the i plus 1th, i plus 2th. Suppose i plus 1th is 3. Jump on i this one like suppose now this is i so i plus 1 i plus 2 i plus 3 and it is 4 so i plus 1 i plus 2 i plus 3 i plus 4 all right and if some index is 0 return minus 1 from it because it is also mentioned that if an array element is 0 you cannot jump from it obviously no if there the element says 0 how can you jump from it there is no visible block for you. Alright. So, what should we... The brute force approach is clear to you, I understand. Explore all the options. Alright. If you are standing on an element, say which says 2, see all the jumps that can happen on the i plus 1 or i plus 2 and a moving the world. You all have to use recursion here. I'm not delving into the recursion now because that would be a lengthy view. Have better approach for that to solve the same problem. Let me just copy it down here. I will just write it again, okay. It was one three five eight nine. One one three five eight nine. Two six seven six eight nine. Two six seven six eight nine. Obviously, approach. I'm talking about the approach number two. If you are thinking about greedy algorithm, you are moving in the right direction. Obviously, if you have to minimize the number of jumps, 
of also i note whenever you hear minimize try to think of greedy all right also recursion also helps in minimizing answers or pure algorithm also help the simplest approach is to try to greedy greedy apply greedy solution you have to you should use uh, try to apply over that solution or uh, else you can apply recursion else you can apply a pure algorithm that should pure algorithms work from practice only you do not have any uh, what should i say a book for that all right you have to practice to delve into proper algorithms for these types so the greedy algorithm says suppose i'm standing on one one is a simple case suppose i'm standing on five and in front of me i have four options five options right okay one two three five and seven okay so the greedy algorithm says i will jump on the option which gives me the maximum output that is if i have five in my hand shouldn't i just move to seven or also if for the betterment of it i am using it uh, converting it to two okay if i have five in my hand should i move to five or i move to the last element two my opinion says move to the last move to the last uh, move to the five element if you have gone from the two for example there are two places left all right if you have moved to the two then you can after jumping from jumping for on the two you can maximum reach here but if you have jumped on five it you will maximum reach one two three four five there so the greedy algorithm says on the take the allowed numbers allowed index per se check for maximum and then jump all right so in this case first you will move to five one from one you will go to the three that is only possible here so number of jumps one from three you see that nine is maximum so you move to nine one more jump from nine you see one two three four five six seven eight nine you see that the L nine after 9 you can directly jump to this one you do not need to find anyone else also so that means you have to add a statement here if position plus allow surpasses length of array return jump plus 1 plus 1 because we have to jump from the position to the last index right so that is why plus 1 comes so for 9 you would come here okay so the number of jumps is 1 2 and then the final 3 i hope greedy algorithm is also visible uh, just good for you let's analyze the time complexity for the greedy algorithm now for time complexity i would have to write a pseudo code for you it would work like uh like your position is in the starting zero and it would work while position is less than n minus 1 after that you will file the allowed regions which would be equals to array of position now if position plus allow is greater than equals to n minus 1 return jump plus one also here jump is equals to zero else use a for loop to find maximum answer to find maximum array element in the allowed region all right 
after that you have to jump now most of you will see the time complexity is o of n you are wrong here now while loop will use n operations at worst case suppose each array element contains 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so you can only move 1 1 1 so n operations for while now this loop will also take n operations ask me how suppose this contains 9 and the total length element is uh, total is of length 11 you have to use 9 for here but you will have to go to the one only or the farthest okay you will go to the farthest and then 9 then 9 then 9 so it will also be of o of n o of n square is the time complexity here pretty efficient i would say it is a better solution first we have discussed the brute force so a brute force is done are better is done now let